Hey guys, Jess from Knockout Print Shop, and today I have for you my September plan with me, reverse plan with me, flip through, whatever you want to call it. So finally back to a more uh, planner type video. The past couple videos have been all about reviewing planners. So now we're going to look inside my planner. Okay, so we will start with the month view here and it's a lot cleaner than it has been in the past few months. I tried a few new things in this spread. So what I did was I took our mild liner um, outline boxes. So the mild liner highlighters, color coding stickers that we have, these are designed for the week spread, the columns of this planner, not the month view, but Obviously, since the columns are smaller, these will still fit. So I tried that. So basically what I did was I used the Vermilion, I think that's the name of this color, for video, that helped me remember. And then I used Magenta for mail, email. And then I used the Gold for new releases just because that's what I used. So this was a little redundant. I don't know if I like how this worked. This again was just kind of how I put the name of each of the releases we had each Thursday. And these things are redundant because typically the video that I put out is the same as the email I put out. So if we're doing, you know, if I did the get to workbook review, also that's the email. So I don't think I need to do <laughs> double this up because I don't usually put out a video and not put out an email and vice versa. So I think that's a little redundant. I'm just trying to practice with a little more content planning and I'm not super great at it, so I'm looking forward to getting my new content planner and see if that helps. The other things I did in here was used um, our dividable washi with arrows for some like adventure things we had going on. I always use my contact icon to remember when to change my context. I did use our books due icon with text for when my library books were due and did use a piece of dividable washi down here layered with a stethoscope icon for a doctor's appointment I have. And then use our clear transparent dot here was for when my federal income tax quarterlies were due. So that is that. I think what I'm going to do next month is similar to this, still using my icons for my contacts, still writing down what releases we have, maybe doing a little bit of content planning. I am going to use some sticker to indicate when our sales tax is due here in Tennessee, we have to pay it monthly. And sometimes I get close to almost that being late because I'm used to paying it quarterly. So I might play around with a few things, but I try to keep this fairly light and um, see how that works. So right now I'm still not heavily using my monthly, but I think like I keep saying in videos, I'm going to start using my monthly view more exclusively come 2020 and see how I can work this month view to keep me on top of things a little bit better by having this at a glance on my desk and um, kind of go from there. Oh, and then I used Dividable Washi for the, the print shops for your anniversary and my birthday. So that's it. Let's move on from the month view because it's not that exciting. Okay, so then we get into week one of September. So for this week, I used kind of a split uh, layout here using top three headers for this section and then to do for the second half of the column. So top three, just kind of identifying the top three things I have to do today and use just our gray um, mini hexagons to write down tasks, used a banner here. And then the to do section just kind of went with a list of to do's. I think this week I was using my weekly kickstart and then later transferring stuff into here. So that's why this doesn't look super fancy. And use a few little icons to bring attention to different tasks. Use a birthday sticker for my sister's birthday. Down here, this kind of in our daily in my daily boxes housed mostly like personal stuff um, from chores to when we were house hunting to dog walks, more chores over here. I used our half box with flag to kind of write house hunting and what counties we were looking for houses in. Couldn't remember there. Um, sidebar grid thing I always use for highlights of the week, my friend Jen's birthday, and we had a farm visit that we had to have her scheduled there. And then this you'll see standard in every single week of this month um, where I use our goal, small goal arrow, arrows to set a weekly action step based on my month goals. So that is the first week. Color scheme I picked is kind of blah, kind of neutral, not very exciting, a little more muted. So I don't think I was really into my planner this week because I think I was probably using more checklists and yeah, so there's that. Let's go to week two. Similar color, but I just used, I think it was basically monochrome 
using this uh, bluish color from the Cinnamon Bay palette. I did put my little contact lens icon here to remember to change my contact lenses. So on this week, I just use a kind of running today to do task list. So I use my today header with the weekend banner. That's all the same. The highlights, like I said, the week action step sidebar did put a next week thing here was thinking I was going to write some stuff to do next week. And I just wrote my birthday was that following is the following week there. Use some striped mini hexes to run lists and then did use striped circle, um, Stripe circles for layered with an icon for bigger tasks that I wanted to remember. So again, that's kind of what I do is I run to-do lists and then use bigger things to bring attention to stuff I don't want to forget, stuff that takes more time, um, stuff that needs to stand out. Like here I used a solid box for our launch of our first 2020 Inkle Press Coordinating Collection, a striped or a striped hexagon with box here, a striped hexagon here, layered an icon on a box for a hike we took. Again, down here on the daily boxes, you can see this is mostly personal stuff from chores. Bottom one was for working out, um, chores, stuff like that. And then I used one of our Arrow Classic dividers to just kind of say this was like a chill day. We were just trying to chill out and we were tired. So this was just a chill day. Highlights over here. And I think that was it. Oh, and then I did use the same mild liner outline boxes to in the week view to remind myself what video or content was going out. Not sure if I feel like that was super helpful for me. Um, this is why I think I might only need a month view because I feel like I'm transferring, like it's very redundant and not efficient for me to put something in the month view. It's kind of a reminder to check before I plan my week, then also duplicate it in the week view. So I'm reevaluating my whole system. As you guys know, I keep saying this in every video. And then I use our little important outlined bubble word sticker here to remind myself to order the content planner that was launching that day. Okay, then we get to the next week, which is not this week, is it? No. So this week was my birthday week. Um, I used a bubble header here for the today uh, header, which you can see the same kind of concept today with the classic header, today with the bubble header. Bubble header is always more fun, add a little, adds a little bit more creativity to my spreads. I started using our coffee cup icon because after six months, I've started drinking coffee again, thinking coffee was causing some of my digestive issues, but so far so good and it hasn't been. I don't think I can drink coffee every day though. I think it, because I haven't drank it in six months, um, I think I'm a little more sensitive to caffeine now. It makes me a little jittery. So I think I'm going to space that out because I do know if I drink too much caffeine, it kind of amps up my like stress and stuff like that. Um, but I'm trying to keep track of that with those. And then you can kind of see what I did here with some boxes to bring attention to different tasks using some icons. I did spread out my checklist a little bit more using every line, every other line. I kind of like to do that because it creates more white space and it doesn't look so um, like crammed on the spread and it kind of balances out the day. Sometimes I feel like if I try to keep everything so tight up here, then I end up with this white space down here that makes my day look like unbalanced in my mind or something and that I didn't do enough. So when I space things out a little bit more, it makes me feel like, I don't know, like I've used my planner to its fullest and my day was complete. Um, my birthday was this day. So I used that birthday sticker, same deal down here with some icons for, um, personal tasks, chores, phone calls, workouts, different things like that. Did use our cool declutter sticker because I got, I was like, I need to declutter my desk and my inbox. So did that. Use a variety of different stickers from when we went house hunting. I love the laptop sticker because I, it's just like this catch all for bringing to attention work projects. Layered some flags here and highlights, goals, all that. So now we get into the current week that I'm filming this. And this is probably the most unique spread from this particular week. I used a kind of started the week off doing it my old school way I always used to do with today on top and to do on bottom or in the middle. And the reason I divided this in two is I'm like, okay, what I'm going to try is I'm gonna, I used to use the today section before my life was a little bit different and I had my gym and more going on that I would use the today section for things that were specific to that day, whether it was an appointment, um, you know, a, a co thing I had to coach, something related to the gym and my to-dos were like running tasks. But what I figured I wanted to try here was, let me put things that are specific that have to be done on this day. And then this can be like my, as I go daily running to-do list. So that's how this kind of started. And 
it worked out really well. Still have the coffee icons for coffee days. Clearly, I'm on a streak of drinking it almost every day. Probably need to take a break from it tomorrow. Have my uh, icon for my contact lenses. And then I just kind of layered things. I actually like how my little payday situation came out here with the outline layered box with the little piggy bank. Um, icons, Nala had a vet appointment, more icons. I used our stripe flag and turned it vertical, layered with a computer for this task that took longer. Um, and then you can see like icons and stripe boxes and different stripe shapes to bring attention to things that he either had a time for that day accompanied with it. It was a major thing that had to happen that day or something to that of that nature. And then the second half, the to-do half, is the part where I'm just like running to-do list of tasks, marking them off with X's and complete using a little arrow if it needed to move up to the next day. So what I did here was I was needed to make our new freebies that didn't get done. So I put it up here in the like kind of must do section. Let's be real. It's Wednesday. There's still no X on that and that needs to get moved over here as a must do. So then what I did is I had designated over here in my goal action step to and my health section to focus on gratitude. And it was yesterday, Tuesday, I'm filming this on Wednesday, and I was like, well, how can I really focus on that? It's great to be like, I'm gonna focus on gratitude when it comes to health. So I was like, I have an idea. Let me utilize a section on my weekly spread for that. So I took this washi we had in our May kit that has a little arrows on it, and I actually took the habit tracker hexagons and designated about two to three lines here, put the hexagon in the middle of those lines, wrote a G on it for gratitude, and each day I'm gonna write just a few words related to gratitude with health. So I'm like, okay, that's how I can physically implement that like kind of weekly action step related to my health goals. So that's what you'll see down here in the bottom. I actually kind of like how that looks. My OCD is a little up when I look at this because it should be in my mind like this light blue teal, pink, light blue teal, but this washi just happened to not be in that color. Um, I did use a bill due for rent, computer icon there, dad's birthday for that birthday one. I did use um, this little heart sticker we had from I think our New Year's kit. So just little things that I keep those kits and sometimes we'll throw stuff on there if I want to get fancy. Highlight section over here, goal section here, and then same as usual on the bottom, fitness section is the last line, house chores or home things. And then this week I just use this for kind of like um, our fermentation, like cooking type of things here. Um, and then I just have post notes of, this is our process for new releases, just making sure we get all our checklists done. And then just some pictures I needed to do for our um, newsletter website, stuff like that. And that is basically it. So that is September, you guys. You can see it kind of changed. So this was an interesting month in real life and in planner life. So kind of changed some things up, kind of tried some new things compared to what I had been doing. Still leaning towards potentially going with focusing on a monthly spread with checklists. We shall see. It is really hard when you've been doing a certain thing for years. I've been in this planner like this, the classics for three years, four years or something like that. So thinking about switching to focusing on using my monthly calendar view and a checklist or weekly kickstart is, you know, a little bit kind of overwhelming for lack of a better word because it'll be kind of creating a new system, but I think it could work. So I'm going to test it out. May still use the classic weeklies as like a documenting fun situation where I can make the week look like this after I do a running to-do list if I want to. Um, I don't keep my planners. Once that year is up, I throw it out. So it serves as a reference for that year. So if I'm like, oh, when did you know, Nala have her vet appointment? When did Champ have his vet appointment? So within that year, if I'm needing to look back through the months, I have it. But after a month or so into the next year, I throw this away. So I don't use it for reference like forever. Um, I'm rambling now. Okay, trying to keep this video over under 20 minutes. We're at 14. I need to wrap it up. Let me know what you guys think. How's your planner spreads going? Have you made any changes with the fall season or your life shifting at all to how you've been doing things? Do you have questions about my planner spreads and all of that good stuff? Feel free to comment below with questions, comments, and I will see you guys in the next one.